Welcome back, Neural Navigators. In our last episode, we explored the ethical quandaries of climate change solutions. Now we're pushing even further into the future. What if merging with machines is our best hope for survival? Today, we're examining the startling possibility that transhumanism might be our most ethical path forward. Prepare to have your synapses stretched. This is ASD, and we're diving into the deep end of human AI integration. Okay, so uh, you've really been digging deep into a set of articles and notes, huh? AI ethics, the fate of humanity. We're really in it now, huh? Staring into the abyss of the big questions here, expert speaker, especially when you get to the part about how we make those planet scale decisions when we're talking about stuff like climate change. Are you ready to unpack all of this with me? Absolutely. The core issue here really seems to be how we can balance that urgent need to do something with the ethics of influencing how people act on a global scale. Right. Every solution has a moral roadblock. Can you kind of walk us through the options and why the ethics are so tricky? It's almost like you're having this like philosophical debate with yourself in these sources. There's this immediate need for speed. And like we don't have the luxury of time with climate change just looming over us. Yeah. But how do we actually get everyone on board for that kind of rapid change ethically? Let's unpack that a bit. What specific pathways are we even talking about here? And when do the ethics get messy? Well, one option that comes up is this top down approach. Think global mandates or even population control. And obviously that's a lot to unpack. Yeah, just a tad. You can see why it would be effective, but talk about a minefield, right? Freedom okay. autonomy. Yeah, no kidding. Not exactly an easy solution. So what else is on the table? We also see some exploration of propaganda and AI driven persuasion. So like imagine being able to nudge people toward more sustainable choices just by using algorithms. OK, so less big brother, more like big nudge. Yeah, exactly. But it still gets really ethically complex. Mm -hmm. Like, does offering enhancement as a solution to something like climate change just create a whole new form of global injustice? It's kind of scary how fast we've gone from solar panels to thought control in this deep dive. Is yeah. there even a middle ground here? Well, that's where the sources bring up another option, which is basically handing the reins over to a super smart AI. Just let the algorithm decide for us. Yeah, basically. Let it make the tough calls for the greater good. But then we hit another wall. How do we make sure an AI's values are actually in line with humanity's values? And how comfortable are we with basically giving up control over our own future? So we've got damned if you do, damned if you don't, with a side of existential dread. Yeah, pretty much. Makes you just want to unplug from the internet entirely, but then things take a bit of a turn in your research, don't they? Yes, it's almost as if by working through those options, we land on a surprise contender transhumanism. Whoa, hold on. Did you say transhumanism? Now we're talking brain chips and cyborg futures. How does that solve anything, let alone the ethics of it all? Well, not necessarily cyborgs like in the movies. The source material focuses on how integrating with technology could actually give us more control over all of this, not less. Okay. Like imagine if enhancing our minds let us really grasp these global issues and make decisions with more, well, unity. Okay, I think I see where you're going with this, but it still feels like we'd be leaping into the unknown. Why would someone see this whole merging with tech thing as the most ethical option? It feels so counterintuitive. Well, it kind of comes down to a few arguments that your research points to. One is speed. Okay. We need to make big decisions like fast when we talk about things like climate change, right? Right. And transhumanism, if it was something everyone did, I mean, hypothetically speaking, could help us make those decisions faster if we were all kind of on the same wavelength. So, so instead of trying to get everyone to agree, we're going for a collective cognitive upgrade. That's a pretty big jump. What else makes transhumanism stand out when we're talking about ethics? The sources also talk about privacy. Okay. And we've talked about AI getting better and better at understanding us, maybe even reading our minds right. Right. It's a little creepy. Yeah. It's a huge ethical red flags. But what if... And here's where things get really interesting. What if we just flip the script? We merge with technology and redefine what privacy even means. It'd be like owning all your data because you are the technology. Okay, now that's a mind bender. So instead of worrying about AI becoming human, we become more like the AI to yeah. like level the playing field. But, and I feel there's always a but with something this big, what about the downsides? 
What about the potential for this tech to create even more inequality? This is starting to sound a lot like Brave New World to me. Yeah, you're right on the money. That's a big issue. And it's something that your sources address. You could end up with a two-tiered society where the enhanced humans have more power, better opportunities, maybe even a longer lifespan. Mm -hmm. It makes you think about how technology has often made social divides even worse. This whole problem of unequal access to enhancement, I mean, it makes you realize that we probably need new ways to think about ethics in the future. It's honestly mind-blowing. We've hit the ethics wall so hard with this that we've warped into a whole new dimension of ethical dilemmas. It makes those initial concerns about propaganda and AI overlords seem almost cute. I know it's a lot to process, for sure. But this is exactly why these conversations that we're having are so important. It's like our ability to change things with technology is happening way faster than our ability to like really understand what it all means ethically. Welcome back to The Deep Dive. Like we're always playing catch up and the stakes are incredibly high. So where does that leave us? We've gone from talking about global cooperation to brain ships to a potential future where humanity is divided. It's a lot to take in even for a deep dive. It really is. But we're not aiming for those easy answers here. The important thing is that we're uncovering just how complex all these choices really are. And what's clear from your research is that every path forward, especially when we're talking about these huge global challenges, is going to come with its own ethical trade-offs. There's no right answer, no easy button to press. It's almost like we near an ethical upgrade just to understand all of this. But I, I think I know what you're going to say. You know me too well. There's always another layer, isn't there? It might seem kind of bleak, uh -huh. but there are some glimmers of hope, or at least ways forward in all of this. The sources talk about something pretty interesting about human nature that I think is really relevant here. Okay, I'm listening. Aside from our talent for creating ethical dilemmas, what's the human element in all of this? Well, think about how humans make decisions, especially when we feel stuck with impossible choices. Yeah. We're actually really good at adapting even when it comes to our ethics. Really? We've changed our views on what's right and wrong in some huge ways throughout history. Can you give an example? Because I got to be honest, looking around at the world right now, I'm having trouble picturing that. Okay, well, think about something like slavery. Mm. For centuries, that was a thing that people just considered normal right, yeah. even morally okay. Yeah. Now it's like globally abhorrent. That is a completely different way of thinking ethically. Yeah. And yeah, it happened through movements and education and really difficult lessons, but it happened. What I'm saying is we are capable of this kind of moral evolution when we need to be. Okay, so that's a slightly more hopeful take. Are you saying we might just figure it out as we go along? I don't know about just figuring it out, but maybe adapting and evolving is a better way to put it. The sources highlight that we need to get comfortable with the idea that the questions themselves are going to keep changing uh, and maybe even radically in the next few decades. So we need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, accepting that the future is uncertain and our ethical frameworks might need to constantly change. Maybe even our definition of human is up for grabs. That's exactly it. And this leads into another key point from the source material. This potential for AI not to decide for us but to guide us through these huge ethical dilemmas. Okay, so AI as a guide, not an overlord. Exactly. But not just any AI. We're talking about a very specific kind of AI with a very specific goal in mind. And that is, don't leave me hanging. AI alignment. AI alignment. I feel like we've talked about that before in some past deep dives. Yeah. But for those of us who need a little refresher, what does that even mean? Especially in this context. It's not just about an AI that can like write me a good email, right? I'm not even close. Yeah. AI alignment in this case means creating AI that isn't just smart. Yeah. It's about AI whose values and goals, even its sense of ethics, is aligned with our own. So yeah. imagine an AI that's programmed not just to like reduce carbon emissions, but to do it in a way that actually makes people's lives better. An AI that respects things like cultural differences. It's about making sure that as AI gets more and more intelligent, it doesn't also become so different from us that we lose control. OK, so instead of just handing over control, we're trying to build an AI partner that can help us figure all this out. Yeah, exactly. And the sources suggest a few ways that AI could really be helpful with this. Like, for example, AI could analyze these ethical dilemmas so much faster and on a much bigger scale than our human brains ever could. Yeah. Imagine running all these simulations analyzing historical data, modeling different outcomes on this massive scale, all to try and find 
the best way forward, or at least the least bad way. So it would be like having the super powered conscience. Right. That can actually keep up with all of the changes that are happening so fast. It's a really interesting concept. But is it even possible? I mean, how do we even know if we can create an AI like that? And even if we could, wouldn't we just be trading one set of problems for another, putting our trust in a machine to figure out ethics for us? Those are the million dollar questions for sure. Yeah. And even the sources admit that AI alignment is a really, really difficult thing to achieve. Yeah, no kidding. It's like we're trying to program morality into machines, which is something that humans have been struggling with for centuries. But there's a little glimmer of hope in your research that I thought was really interesting. Remember that story about the AI that couldn't understand what it meant to hear because it was so focused on, like, the mechanics of sound? Yeah, that was kind of creepy, but also kind of sweet, like watching a kid try to figure out a really complicated idea for the first time. And what's interesting is that the AI eventually did figure it out, but it took time and patience and this willingness to kind of, like, teach it and communicate with it. So you're saying that maybe the key to all of this is patience. Teaching AI about ethics the same way we teach kids about right and wrong. It could be a really big part of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Your research really seems to point to a future where AI doesn't replace human judgment completely. Yeah. But it helps us improve it. It helps us become better at making these tough ethical decisions not obsolete. Okay, now that's a future I can get behind. So as we wrap up this whirlwind deep dive, where do we land? I mean, we've gone everywhere from crisis mode to what feels like a cautious sense of hope. Well, that's what's so great about these deep dives. Sometimes the biggest insights come from the journey itself. And what we've discovered here is that the future, especially when we're talking about AI and ethics and what it means to be human, is not set in stone. So no easy answers, no guarantees, just a lot of big questions that we've got to figure out together. Exactly. Humans and AI ideally working together and hopefully before it's too late. Well said. And on that note, we'll leave you with this thought to ponder. If becoming more like AI is one path and building AI that's more like us is another what happens when those two paths cross, what would a future look like where humans and AI were actually evolving together ethically? Now that is a question for another deep dive. Thanks for joining us for this exploration. And remember, in a world full of easy answers, the deep dive is always worth taking. wrap up this two-part exploration of our technological future, we're left with more questions than answers. Will rapid ethical adjustments become our new normal? Is transhumanism inevitable? Whatever lies ahead, it's clear that our future will be shaped by the choices we make today. Stay adaptable, stay thoughtful, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Until next time, this is ASD, signing off from the frontiers of human potential.